Hey there, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the five things you should never say when viewing a home to purchase. My name is Larry Hughes. I'm a licensed real estate and mortgage broker here in California, and I've been helping clients just like you since 2005, buy, sell, invest, and finance homes. So again, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the five things you should never say when viewing the home to purchase. Number one, oh my gosh, this is my dream house. Look at this, and look at that, look at the lot size, look at the curtains, look at the windows, look at the paintings. In other words, don't tip your hand that you're overly excited about the purchase of a home because it could hinder you in negotiations. A listing agent could should would be there or should be there, and they could know that this is absolutely your dream house and that you'll pay anything to get it. So make negotiations just that much harder. It could be the seller who wants to push the envelope to get a little bit more out of the home because they know that this is your dream home and you'll do what you need to do to get it. So again, keep it at an even kill. Number two. This couch is awful. This painting is awful. What is this? What is that? The color of this home, the flooring, making discouraging comments about the furniture and or the appearance of the home. It can be detrimental to your negotiations. So keep your comments to yourself and your spouse and, and your buying agent, your realtor who's representing you in a private setting. If, the, if any and all of those things are true, make sure that you keep those comments to yourself and that you write them down, et cetera, whatever you need to do to remember, but keep them to yourself so that you can avoid offending the seller and or the listing agent who has to report to the seller your comments because the, buy, the seller wants to know. Number three, if you find yourself in the situation where you're actually in the presence of the seller as a buyer, you should not ask the seller why are they selling. That is and can be offensive. It is none of your business why they are selling. It can throw a seller off. Now, unless the seller um, offers that information to you freely up in a the conversation, then you can talk about it. But if not, do not ask a seller why are they selling. It will can throw them off and again make negotiations that much more difficult when buying a home. So keep that question to yourself or ask your representative realtor to ask the listing agent why are they selling and can get your answer that way. Do your own negotiations about the property and the neighborhood and the neighbors uh, independently if you have to visit the property at night, on the weekend, etc. But again, keep that question to yourself. Number four, this house needs work or this house needs updating. This house needs this house. What about keep that negative energy away when you're looking at a home to purchase? You never know when a seller, even if they're not there, they may have a listening device that listens to your comments. I've seen it happen in the past. With in the days of, or now we're in the days of Alexa and all the Google Home, et cetera, you wanna keep your comments to yourself and wait till you're in a privacy with your real estate professional and or your partner. Number five. They're not going to get list price for this home or this home is priced too much or et cetera, et cetera. Keep the comments about the price of the home to your representative who's going to write that offer for you and your partner. Now at the showing of the property is not the time to make a comment about the price. The time to make a comment about the price is in an offer, in writing. That is the only time you make a comment about the price. It's in an offer, in writing. That is what a seller, a seller will see and that is what a seller can respond to in a business decision because this is a business decision. If you risk, you will risk offending the seller 
um, by making a comment about the list price of the home and therefore make the decision even harder for a seller to to negotiate with you about the price of the home. So again, keep the sales price comments to yourself and your representative. Well, that's it, guys. My name is Larry Hughes, and I'm a, again, I'm a licensed real estate and mortgage broker here in California, and I've been since 2005 representing buyers, sellers, and investors just like you. Sell, buy, finance homes in California since 2005. Again, if you require any additional information, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is below. I love to help you with buying, selling, or investing, or even financing in the near future. Give me a call. Talk to you soon.